So um, Salma's on Rakuten, so I'm just putting some oil on her skin. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills oil, hydrating oil. Just putting that on the drier areas of her skin. And then I'm obviously color correcting with my Barry M color corrector. I'm using it just under her eyes. I'm gonna pat some in some areas that are a little bit darker that need a bit of correcting um, around her mouth and her eyes. Usually this is good for using um, on darker scarring to sort of neutralize the color. Just blending that in, making sure it's not too wet on the skin. So I'm just going in with her brows and I'm using my Jealousy um, Brow Pomade. It's a brow cushion actually. Um, Salma's also um, growing out her brows at the moment, so they're a bit overgrown in this video. But it's okay, nothing I can't deal with. So I always start by underlining the bottom of the brow. And then just filling in the top. I don't like it to be too structured at the top, but I like it to be quite structured at the bottom. So the tail I like to be very defined. And then I just brush the product up, as you can see. Now, as an eyeshadow base, I'm using um, Select Cover Up and I'm using the shade NC30 on Tama because um, it will give a nice base for the colors to pop. I'm using a nice flat brush. This is just a brush that I got from a set off eBay or something, but a nice flat brush. A MAC 252 works really well, 242 by MAC. Um, just want something that will distribute the product quite evenly and it has quite a sharp end to it. As you can see, I'm patting the concealer in and sort of enabling it to dry and create a nice flawless flat base for the eyeshadow. Right, I'm going in with my crease color now and I'm using um, Sienna from the Soft Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just my first, you know, color. Second color I've just used is the Coco Coco by AOM Cosmetics, just to deepen up that crease a little bit more. I really love these two colors, um, Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Coco by AOM Cosmetics. Although unfortunately my Coco did smash everywhere, so I need a new one. Just blending that together and deepening it up slightly more. So as you can see, I kind of build up the colors. I don't just put them all on at once. Just buffing that color out and making sure it's as blended as possible on the edges there. So when I'm blending the edges, I sometimes will use a brush that doesn't actually have any product on it. Again, as you can see, I'm just building that color up, swapping brushes to the brush that doesn't have as much product. Now I'm gonna cut the crease just at the front. I like to do this so that you can get like a lot of payoff of the color in the, in the front area of the eye. It also makes eyes look a lot bigger as well. So what I do is I carve out the um, eye area and then you'll see in a minute what I'll do is I will get her to open her eyes and blink a few times just to see where the, um, the color will transfer on her lid. So I'll get her to blink. There you go. Okay. 
and just blend that middle part of her eye. Now I'm applying um, some gold eyeshadow and this is from the gold um, soft glam palette as well. I'll link everything down below because I can't remember the exact color. Um, I think it's bronze. It's a gorgeous color. Now I'm adding some Stila um, Heavy Metal Glitter on top. And this one is by, um, this one is called Kitten Karma. Um, I do use this one quite a lot. It's probably my favorite of the Stila um, Metals um, liquid eyeshadows. I think it's a good one. And I've, cause I've put the gold base underneath, it will kind of give it a goldish pinkish shift. Um, because Kitten Karma is slightly on the more pink side. I'm just gonna blend in that sort of line in the middle, as you can see the sort of line where I've put the gold pigment, blending that with just a little bit of um, sienna. I'm using just some liquid liner. This one's by YSL, I love this one. It's very, very black and matte. It is expensive, but I really like it, um, yeah. Now I'm using Studio Fix and I'm using the shade NC44. Just, as you can see, I'm not swirling the product. I am stamping it onto her skin because I don't want to create added texture. Salma does have textured skin, so I don't want to aggravate that further. And as you can see, I'm patting it because it's. I'm kind of at the same time drying it off. I don't know if that makes sense. But I'm patting it till it will dry. using my sponge to blend everything together and this is the point where people are probably a little bit shocked by the color that I've chosen on her but actually as you can see here by her neck it does match her now I am brightening under her eyes and I'm using um, shape tape in tan sand I'm applying it with a sort of buffing brush um, first before I um, then go out going to blend it with the beauty sponge and the beauty sponge that I'm using at the moment is by um, Arwa Lashes. And I have dampened the beauty blender slightly. And now I'm just stamping that across her face, very gently, obviously, don't wanna hurt her. Um, but I am doing that just to buff it into the skin very lightly. I'm using a very light hand. I don't want to rub it, I want to press it. I am adding a little bit more for extra coverage. I felt the need to add a little tiny bit more under her eyes. And yep, I'm just going to be setting that immediately with uh, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium. I'm just setting the areas on her face that I've applied the concealer. I'm just contouring very lightly um, using my Tarte Contour Face Shape Palette. Using the darkest shade in the palette. This is also gonna add a bit of structure, add a bit of warmth to her face. Just a little bit on the nose. I'm not like a big, huge, I'm not a heavy contour person. I feel like contour, heavy contour is made for drag queens. Um, and Selma has beautiful feminine features. She doesn't need heavy contouring. Just adding a little bit of um, blush. As you can see, I'm tapping the blush on. I'm not 
rubbing it, I'm tapping. Again, there's texture on the skin. I don't want to do any rubbing. I don't want to remove the product underneath. Just lining the eyes with my Maybelline um, black gel pot liner. And when I'm lining the eyes, I am bringing it slightly down to her lash line so that I can smudge it in. So this is me sort of smudging the black color and then blending a lighter color underneath it to get a bit of a gradient effect under the eyes. So what I've done on the top is what I'll do on the bottom. So I've used Cien on the top, I'll use Cien on the bottom. Mascara, Bad Girl Lash, Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. And adding some lashes. I'm using the K Rose B lashes in the style Iris. Now I'm adding a bit of highlighter to the, some of the parts of her face. So her brow bone, her nose, her cheeks, very lightly. Again, there's texture on her skin. I'm using the Hyperreal Glow Palette by um, Hyperreal Glow Palette by Mac. I'm just adding a little bit of brow gel on her brows, and then I'm adding a little bit of glitter just on the inner corners of her eyes, just to make that inner corner pop. Just sweeping away any kind of dust on her face. Going back in with my glitter. I love glitter. Yeah, just emphasizing the glitter on the eyelid as well. Just at the end. As you can see, Tina's working away there on the side. Whilst I carry on with the makeup. Then I'm just up adding some um, of the Rihanna Stunner Lip Paint. I think it's called Lip Paint. Um, the color is called Stunner. I think it's a perfect Asian bridal lip color for someone who wants a bit of a brighter eye lip color. And it takes a bit of a while to get this perfect. Red lipstick is notoriously difficult to get perfect um, and very neat. Just take your time. And that is the overall look. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Be nice. <laughs> and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.